Hello and welcome back to Against the Storm. In our last episode, we started a new town, or finished a new town, in this uh, relatively new uh, uh, world map. It was the first town in a new world map after completing the Silver Seal last time. Uh, now we have the... Uh, wait, what is this one? Oh, that's the silver one. What does it look? Not silver. Because uh, <laughs> it doesn't. Uh, so we're going to try to go for the Gold Seal this time. And... Um, if we if we kind of feel like it's right, the biggest problem is is I'd like to also try to gather up as many artifacts as we can. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna collect up some machinery instead. But we'll collect up some machinery next to this ruined armory, and then we're probably gonna gonna see what's in this. If there's something good here that we can combine with this one, we'll do those, and then maybe we'll catch some of these, and we'll try to finish up by coming over here toward the gold seal. Um, Umber made a good point in the chat for I think the first episode that. It might be better to do the gold seal now and then have some cycles where we focus on gathering resources as well as possibly starting out some um, some uh, uh, prestige runs um, because the next seal after gold is prestige 5 and I may never get there um, just because I may not but in those cycles we can try to skill up our prestige ability while we gather as many of the you know resources as we need so i think that might be a better option to do than the waiting until the next cycle or to taking a cycle to gather the, the the artifacts it just feels i don't know neglectful i guess maybe to have all these things here that we can't get because we need those specifically and having to kind of wait for them. Although there are a few things we can still spend on. So we were talking at the end of the last episode about what we should take next. So we have the discount here for the blueprints and perks by the, sold by the traders. We have a trade route limit. We have lower prices again. And then we have starting ability for the beavers. This would be a great tree to do. But uh, we'd only be able to do two of them. And then we're stuck again until we have more artifacts. And I don't really feel like that's a strong thing for me. We could also take these embarkation bonuses. They're useful. I do sometimes take them. Uh, they're nice to have as an option to compare against the raw resources to determine whether they are uh, worth it or not. But um, I don't, also don't necessarily want to spend 12 of my only 18 artifacts on that at this point either. And then this tree here, uh, the Pioneer's Gate, is done for now until we get another level, of course. And then we'll get be able to do embarkation goods. But uh, here we have the daily expedition, which is kind of useless to me because um, I'm not that interested in doing those, although we could start doing some of those on occasion. Uh, but the blueprint here for the field kitchen could be very useful since it gives us this ability to make some complex food very early on in the game, especially uh, when we don't have a good role for complex food early on in the game. So maybe or we probably I've been trying to get this, so I think we'll probably continue that. And the greater embarkation range is actually really nice. That would be really nice to have too, and actually be right. It'd be really nice to have right now, but there's no way we can afford it because we do not have enough uh, uh, resources for that right now. Additional cornerstone choice could be um, could be good. A sacrifice cost decrease. It's okay. Cornerstone reroll. Uh, maybe could be good and then starting resources for extra fabric which would be nice as well but those are also going to be a little bit expensive to get to so I think and then the plantation here I'm gonna pass on that until we're ready to get the herb garden instead because I don't I mean I've said this before but I'm not that uh, thrilled about the plantation uh, as a recipe or as a building so uh, I only take it when I kind of feel like I need to uh, in any map um, I'd rather, I'd almost rather have the, um, maybe I would totally rather have the Grove, rather. No, it's not the Grove. What is that called? Maybe it's called the Grove. I can never remember the name of it because they changed it halfway through the early access. I'd almost rather have that one than this one, uh, at least in most cases. Uh, so let's buy the daily expedition so that we can get to the field kitchen. And then I think we will... Um, wait here because we don't have enough food stockpiles to buy anything else uh, for now but in the next um, in the next break between the next two towns we could either do the embarkation range then or come over here probably and work on these trade ones which was also um, a strong contender especially given the fact that uh, the beavers are up there but again we don't have the, um, the the artifacts for it so let's get out of here and let's get uh, let's get rolling to this point in the Scarlet Orchard. Scarlet Orchard, I would say, is my least favorite biome of the four 
sort of basic bi- biomes, but but it's still um, you know it's got that interesting mechanic with the uh, with the um, art- uh, artifact and the, um, the archaeology rather. So that's really useful, um, really fun to play with. All right, so we have seven, eight, or six. Well, eight is the best in terms of that number. We have two bonus people in every group, so that is good. And this one has uh, food and clay. This one has two foods, copper and uh, plant fiber. And this one has food and copper. I think that's the best group overall. Anyway, even with even if it didn't have the most people, I mean, it has the best resource spread, I think. Uh, on the ground, we're going to see, what, copper here? Yeah, copper and copper in the trees as well. So we'll want to um, we'll be able to make more copper bars. But hey, starting out 12 is not a not a problem because we can use that to make more pipes or tools or anything so let's start with the eight beavers uh two points for three people is still a good deal and oh by the way in the version that's coming in may which i mentioned at the end of the last episode i think or sometime during the last episode um this is actually going to be permanently be two points for three people which is probably good because three people and only one point is probably a little too cheap it's kind of nice to get it it's, you know, it's a little bit of excitement to get it, but it makes more sense to make it be two points. Uh, let's see, herb camp. Uh, what do we have on the on this? Um, I'm probably not going to take this, but uh, herbs and berries. So that's two. Uh, small farm could be good to take at only four points compared to that one at six. That could be good, but we only have six points left. Um, we have eight, ten, thirteen people, so we could probably get a good chunk of the three, uh, the triple strategy going. So we could take maybe some stone here and not take the wood that is, that's the, the triple uh, woodcutter strategy that is. Uh, we could take some food, but then we could not take this. Uh, what do we have for oil or f coal 24? Doesn't matter because all these crates are the same. Um, so we could take that. Uh, but I don't think I don't think so. I don't think I want to spend three points on it. So let's take, um, you know, maybe I still will take the wood. Let's see. Take this for sure. Take one of these for sure. And I have two points left. I could either take this one for two or take this in the wood. Let's take the wood. Let's do that instead. Um, I think that's a good spread of resources. We're still on Viceroy. We're going to stay on Viceroy until probably after we complete the gold seal. So let's go ahead and embark. All right, so of course we have the Ruin Armory that we um, that we picked up in this one. Um, no villagers will die when attacking a trader, so just for fun, I'd like to attack a trader. But if I remember correctly from reading, because I've never actually done it, it keeps the traders the traders to stop coming when you attack them. Maybe, so maybe we want to wait until toward the end of this town before we do that. Then, of course, we have the two um, biome-specific things, the Royal Archaeologist Office and the Buried Mysteries, uh, where you can find the archaeological excavation sites. Here we have two resin every time woodcutters cut down a tree, which is a good thing to have not in the Royal Woodlands, since you don't get resin anywhere but the Royal Woodlands, I don't think, from chopping down the tree. So getting it in a place where you don't get resin is kind of nice. That's really good. Looming Darkness. Humid Climate. At hostility 2, fuel consumption in the hearths is increased by 20% for each hostility level. Uh, at hostility 2, also in the storm, villagers with this effect have minus 2 penalty to the resolve, prevented by housing, uh, and it is stacked every 60 seconds, so we just need to make sure everybody's housed, no problem. Uh, devastation, um, once this effect is activated, you'll have to pay one pack of building materials times the number of years. If you don't, three buildings in your settlement will become ruins. Wait, just one pack? Not one pack per person, but one pack times number of years. Okay, hostility three. And then in hostility six, uh, in the storm, eclipse, uh, the time between breaks is reduced by 33% for villagers with this effect. Prevented by two services. So if we make it that far, we're not likely to be uh, able to prevent it. Um, so hopefully we don't, but not a bad set of, of things overall here. Let's still do three woodcutters. It just will depend on whether I keep them going for very long or not. 
and we ended up getting five harpies with those five bonus people so that was kind of handy that we got uh, no extra beavers because then we didn't have to worry about the uh, wondering what, what was coming uh, let's see do this one just like that this is I think still my favorite layout all right so we have lots of beavers so we can have lots of woodcutters uh, we could pop that small glade we should probably pop both of those small glades although I'm guessing I'm betting that the archaeological dig is there but still let's do this one and let's do that one put a woodcutter on each and then I think we'll probably put uh, more woodcutters over here get some more uh, spot for housing like that so let's see three of you in here uh, let's swap this to a harpy three of you in there uh, three of you in there and then two of you plus a harpy oopsie in here coming at this one build 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 and then of course we need to have the um, workstation and we'll probably... I'm going to go ahead and put the makeshift post up because we'll need to have those building materials eventually. And then once they're done with that, then we can probably st hopefully start working on housing. Kind of nice. We have enough, enough room there for housing. Uh, that's the archaeologist's office. We'll get that eventually. Our first building choice. Herbalist camp comes up again, but so does the trapper's camp, which is not that great here. Only one source of trapper's camp materials. That's eggs. And then the small farm could be useful as well. Although we will find grain on the ground. Um, it still might be useful to have that. Actually, it might be better to have that than the herb camp. Definitely better than the herb garden. Hmm. Herb camp, herbalist camp or small farm? Probably the small farm. Probably. Let's see what we get, though, as far as opening up these glades, as well as... Um, actually, I should probably not open the glades up yet. Just in case we get a uh, uh, cornerstone that will take advantage of glade opening. Guild catalog. Traders have one more perk or blueprint for sale. That can be useful. Um, it may not be worth spending a cornerstone on, but then again, we can get more perks from spending that one, so maybe. Driving water, wood cutting speed will increase by 10% for every 150 units of water used in rain engines. That could be, always, that can always be useful. And local taxes, 12 amber for every 50 ale produced. Well, we do have beavers. Beavers do like ale, but this is very early for this one. So, I think I will take this one, driving water. Uh, we haven't, obviously, haven't started the rain engines yet, so we're not going to get a benefit yet, but I kind of like the idea of it, although maybe I should have waited for a um, uh, thing. I wish I would call it a thing. I put these in the wrong spots tonight. I did. Let's move this one over here. I put them relative to this instead of relative to that. There we go. All right, so you, and then we also have, uh, what are these, reeds? Yeah, we have reeds over here. Let's get it harvester camp up as well. And I think that's all the resources we have. And then orders are going to pop in a moment. There they are. And we have five packs of crops to get uh, bonus to pack a crop production. Planting faster. And ten amber. Or a bunch of packs in general. They get a bonus to grain production, which could be useful. Always useful. Uh, fabric production and parts. Or uh, do that one, but do it in a specific amount of time, plus a couple of extra packs to get some extra people. Bonus to the... The amount of good produced in a makeshift post, which means that we could get um, uh, we could we could get these more pro proficiently, and then also the makeshift post uh, can produce those goods. Let's keep this paused because we have to, otherwise we'll lose that one. And in the makeshift post, uh, can we afford to make four packs of each? That's two patch two two packs of that, two stacks of that. Uh, two stacks of that, that's easily enough done with something. And then two stacks of this is the tough one. We can't. Oh, man. Um, should I risk it? Should I risk it? Well, let's see. We could make 
some bricks um, to get the, to get enough bricks to make the brick ones. We would need to have three batches of that. We need to have three batches of this as well, or we would need to have five batches of wood. I think we can do this um, in was it five and a half minutes? Yeah, five and a half minutes. Let's do it. Let's have let's have some fun. That one comes back, but I don't think I want to try to do that one because we could easily do this one right away. We don't have this yet. That would be useful, and some people could also be useful. So let's do this one. We could turn it in right away. I think I am going to wait because I want to wait till we have at least a point here to burn. Speaking of burning, deliver five purging fire. That's pretty cheap to make. Oil production bonus, parts, and people. Or fulfill the need for jerky 30 times. I think we should do this one, although... Bug bonus isn't going to help us much. Oh wait, it will, because bugs are available as uh, smaller side things in something. In stone or clay or coal? Uh, no, not stone. I think. No, maybe not. Huh? I don't remember. That's not what I wanted to do anyway. Well. Maybe I should just do this one then, since that bonus doesn't help us any, or much, or possibly, whereas this one would, if we got this recipe. It's the same otherwise, so maybe we do this one. And I'm not gonna click that button. Do not click the button. Okay, so let's um let's go with the small farm, I think, here. And then we wanna go with, uh, let's see, we have harpies, so we could do the supplier. Uh, that would get us flour and planks. The lumber mill will get us better planks, but we don't need the packs of trade goods because we're going to try to get those in the makeshift post. The brickyard would get us better bricks, of course, and we could, or, and or the leather worker for better fabric. We don't get leather here, unless it comes with the eggs. Uh, we don't need the pigment because it comes from the trees. Let's go with the supplier. Plus, we could still get the water skins here. That might make the planks better to do rather than the bricks or the fabric. Might. We don't need the provisioner for the flour. We could use it for the provisions, but we're going to get the better provision recipe. Because I'm saying that I'm going to. Uh, this could be good otherwise as well, but this one I think is the best way to go. The training gear, though, doesn't help us necessarily, but the biscuits could be nice. And the good copper bar recipe could be really nice. But I think I'm going to sit on this one for a little bit. Let's change a couple things here. Uh, deleting these two. Making another one of these. Uh, let's actually move this up here, too. Keep moving these around. Uh, let's put some priority on these as well, as well as this one. Uh, that way we can get them built. And then we want to take this as eggs. And we want to take this as probably still either brick or fabric. What should we have again? Could do that. And I think maybe the fabric. Although we should make one out of brick anyway, because we have one brick recipe. Okay, go please. We can open up these blades whenever we're ready. Oh, we did, okay. Uh, we have a trader, Gex Rune Scale, the shaman. Uh, you have things for sale that I wish I could afford, I'm sure. I'm sure. And you have um, stuff that I'm sure that I want to buy. We could buy so we could buy fabric or yeah we could buy six fabric for wait a minute what's the recipe again 18 and that almost breaks even we could spend the extra two or one and something to get it right away without having to spend the time to make it. And I think that's the better option altogether. So let's trade that. We do have a lot of resin we could spend too. Um, but I think I'm just gonna go there. So I'm not gonna put anybody in here to make anything just yet. We have one making brick, one making um, uh, fabric. We're gonna have, yeah. Clear you, take a look at this. A shaman of course, copper. Sea marrow and herbs. Come on, come on, come on. Build, build, build. <laughs> uh, let's pull 
all of these out. They can help in building. And we're going to assign them into these jobs anyway. Not going to assign anybody to that yet, so I should have deprioritized it. Come on, come on, come on. Actually, do I want to use eggs since I need to trade those in? I think we'll use um, berries instead then. Let's get two people in here. And let's get two people in here. We've got, uh, you're collecting berries for the packs of provisions, so let's not have you do packs of provisions then. Wait, who, did you grab all the... You did grab all of those. Okay, then let's do this instead. Uh, you're making one packs of those, so let's turn that off. And somebody here should be making those and those. Good. Let me turn that off. And we need one, we need a second batch of those. We'll keep that going. Good. It might just work. This is actually one of my favorite timed orders. Because it makes this building so good. When it's such a piece of junk to begin with. More copper, storm water, roots, and reeds. Okay, you, can, you all can keep chopping uh, trees down here. I'm going to move you around a little bit. We'll get this done, then we got to build some housing. i got to keep a close eye on all this, though. Uh, let's see, you're just about done with that. Um, you're just about done with that. You're starting on those, so we can pull you out of this. I think. Yeah, they haven't delivered them yet, but that's fine. Uh, one of you don't need to make that anymore, either. Traders leaving, that's fine. Closing all those, that's fine. I'm gonna really set on this for a while. I may end up disallowing them to use those, though. Uh, because we're gonna wanna, obviously, turn this in right away. Wait, I have all the provisions I need already. You don't need to do that. Uh, you need to make me... Or deliver those. Please. And then you're making those, and we need a delivery from you here. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. Deliver, please. You're done? Good. Go away. You're on your coffee break. Okay, we're done. Let's delete one of these. Uh, I don't necessarily care which one I delete. We can move this one back over here, and then we can build those, uh, whatchamacallit again? Those camps. This one, and this one, and we also had herbs, so we need the herbalist camp there, and that might have been it, because the only other one is the wood, uh, not the woodcutter, is the uh, stonecutter, which we, oh, we do have that. Let's get that going then, and then finally the uh, trapper we don't have a need for yet. Put three, or at least a couple of them back in here. Let's turn this in right away. Gives us three more people, which we're gonna need to do, to have to do some building. Uh, you all can maybe just, oh, come down here, yeah. Come down here, please. There, and here. And then let's build some houses. Uh, we have 16, that'll house 12. I think yeah 12 15 16 and then we'll need to have park we did not find the archaeology thing which i kind of predicted we wouldn't it could be here or there even or probably there probably not there but maybe and that's our forbidden glade that close already wow okay let's now we have to make a choice here i still think the smelter's the best choice the only way this isn't good is if we get humans instead of the other two so we could take the risk on this. Um, we don't really need that anymore because this recipe for packs of provisions is um, four to make three. Uh, this recipe now for packs of... Oops, send that back. I hope I didn't have any crap in the other one. Is six to make five, which is a better ratio. Um, so that's, that's worth it. Uh, we have packs of trade goods down here, which is nice to have. So we don't need it in... Not there, Wally. We don't need it in this either, so that makes this building not any good for me. I'd rather have that one for the training gear, for all things considered. We don't need the flower. We could use the scrolls, especially for the two we have, but we don't need the packs of building materials at one star either. The same math applies here, only even worse, because it's only one star. Provisioner we don't need, because the only thing it's going to help us with is barrels. So I think the smelter, I could re-roll, but I'd like to have that copper recipe, and the biscuits don't hurt either. 
Uh, the herbalist camp comes up again, or we could take the forester's hut, not the grove, the forester's hut, that's what it's called. But I think, since we already have a farm, I think I will take the herbalist camp here. And that should upgrade this one automatically in place. It does, good. Okay, even though it hasn't been built yet. Lots and lots of stuff. Uh, maybe we should prioritize these over those. Build away though, please. Okay, we should probably get somebody to work in here though. Although I do need to put up the um, uh, thing making the planks, the 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 supplier. And we need bricks for that. Okay, so you need to start on bricks. Uh, I'm gonna put somebody in here. I have another beaver. You can go in there. Uh, I'm gonna want one of you to, as you finish this, I want one of you to come over here and clear that corner out too. For now, it's okay. Build, 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 please. Let's also prioritize this. Uh, this can come over here. And we can put somebody in there. Woodcutters are bored. Uh, you can come down here, maybe. And I get, like, this in your range, kind of? Yeah, that'll work. This can go over here. Uh, actually, like, that would be good. Somebody in there. Move this one over here. Uh, there. And I'm gonna move this one, I think, also, like, that, maybe. We'll get this done. Uh, but we can also get this started. Supplies! Once you get all the supplies done. This can go this way. Uh, did you get enough room there? Yeah, no, you're working on it, though. Good. We got our first level here. We could actually get, to the, get all the way to the second level, even. We should probably try to do that here. Let's go fence corners, but in a square this time. You can move out of the way again. And let's do a uh, garden here. Take care of those. This got done. You can come up here to be able to gather herbs. We'll put one of you in there. Let this finish up. This one we need up here as well, but I don't want to put anybody in there just yet. We have things to do, people to see, places to go. All the things. That's not going to get done for a little while until we get uh, planks going. Is this ready to go? Just about. Wait, what did you... Oh no, do not make pipes. Send that back. You both are bored. Uh, let's look at what we want to go next. I'm going to try... I think I should try to tunnel back this way. Because I suspect that could be where the uh, first thing is at. Let's just tunnel. Like that, I think... Some trees there that I shouldn't have done. That's okay. You can go there. You can go... Did I get them right in there? Ooh. Let's take out these trees here then, too. Just for posterity's sake. You can move up. And you'll have six bricks to deliver once that's done. We're not quite to a point yet, so we'll turn this in after the storm. In the meantime, what do we have for food? Yeah, let's disallow eating of eggs for right now. Just so we don't get too close to that, even though we're pretty far off yet. And the storm has started. Where are we at with happiness? Not good. I figured as much. As soon as you're all done with deliveries here. Ah, uh, harpies. Harpies. I only needed two, not six. Oops. Okay, good. Yeah, harpies. Uh, I may just pull... Harpies. Yeah, just wheat, flour, no water skins here. That'll do. That'll also make them happier. So we could actually probably even put some of these woodcutters, or beavers back in the woodcutters. Nope, we cannot. All right. You go there. You keep sliding on up. 
you all keep chopping. Oops. Not there, please. Actually, I think that looks right. We have a payment to make. Um, for one pack of building materials. So we need to get that set up. Uh, one of you can come in here, make me some of those... Uh, out of bricks at a time. Leave that at four, that way they only make... Well, actually, then they should set it to three, so they only make one. Uh, we do need to get these going at some point here. How are you doing on brick making? Not good yet, but we still have a little bit of time yet. We need to do it at the um, beginning of the clearance, so we have a little bit of time. Let's do... Can I fit you in here yet? No. Okay. We'll wait on that. Upcoming payment, I know. Let's do cornerstone. Rich glades, that's useful. Secure perimeter. A forbidden glade event will reduce hostility gain from the glades. Maybe. Probably not. But maybe. Market shift plan. Plus two more trade routes. No trader will arrive in your settlement until you complete at least five trade routes. Uh, let's do it. Should I do that one? No, let's do this one. I'm still gonna. I still have to build the trader though, so we can do trade routes. That's fine. I'm gonna put it like back here, out of the way a little bit. Drizzle, go away. I'll leave the payment there to remind me. And uh, you need to finish like a forced delivery so that they can use those bricks to make the things. Oh, and people. Oopsie. Three or three. We got lizards. Okay, good. Um, we'll take that group then. I think because of the lizard. Although, yeah, we'll take that. That's fine. Deliver, please. Actually, you'll be able to steal them. Yeah, you did steal them already, actually. Good. Good. All right, you come here. Hop down this way. Let's throw a few of beavers in there. A few of beavers in there? Whatever. Uh, you can stay there then, I guess. We'll throw an extra one in there. Throw an extra one in there. And let's get chopping. It's fine. Uh, so you're done in a moment. Deliver, please. I don't want you to do that, though. Deliver those. Hey, get out of there. For now. Actually, no, wait. Make packs of provisions here. Uh, you can go back to using eggs. Um, we need to turn this in, because we're at a good spot, so turn that in. Uh, what is this? Oh, yes, trade routes. Trade routes. Lots and lots of trade routes. Trading the eggs. Uh, that's a good deal, actually, already. Trading the copper. That's a really good deal. Too bad we don't have 24 of it. Uh, copper bars. Not as good of a deal. And that one, that one tool plus the 10 we got from the lizards. Uh, that's an okay enough deal. Let's do, though, uh, this one times... No, let's not do times two. Let's do one of those to start with, because that's going to take our two... What's my call? Let's put the worker back in here. Uh, beaver's fine. I don't have a job for that lizard yet, but we'll see. And then we have a building choice. Two jerkies, one skewer. The butcher could be good. Did I take that plus oil? I did. Possibly. Actually, I do have a job for the uh, for the for the uh, lizard. Uh, this could be good at the smithy, although we don't need the packs of trade goods recipe. The tinctuary we could use as well. The tinkerer we could. Not really. I'd rather have the smithy in that case. Um, but the butcher, I think, would be a really good idea. So let's take the butcher. Still haven't found any farm fields. Ugh. Uh, we need to put the smelter as well. Somewhere. Uh, let's scooch you over a little bit more here. Leapfrog you down here like that. And then go there. Um, we still need this, which means we still need planks. You should be making planks. You are. Let's force your delivery. Which you would have probably done already anyway. Uh... Let's put somebody in here, but not the lizard, because I'm going to put the lizard in here. 
Actually, no, I have a better job for the lizard. I have the blight pose for the lizard to work in. Except that I don't have a spot to... I guess I could put it over here. We need bricks for it, though. Need bricks for that. And planks. Just need planks, too. Alright, we got lots to build. Less time to do it in. There's our archaeological discovery. And some wheat on the ground. Wheat on the ground was this camp? Yes. So that'll be a good job for you at some point. Here we need water or... Oh, no, so we're not going to do this. We want to do this one. I mean, I like stuff. Don't get me wrong, but we should do this one. Uh, we have plenty of meat at the moment. We do not have the building materials, though. So let's sit on that for a little while and see what happens. Uh, yeah, you all can keep chopping. Uh, maybe I'll switch some of you to opening up a glade. We could do that one or this one. Actually, you know what? I uh, know. Let's uh, delete this. Change my mind. Let's put uh, these here and get into that glade. Nope. Wrong spot, Wally. There. And here. And we'll let one of them stay up there and do that work. Let's get into this glade ASAP. Come on down. Lizards are unhappy. Why are they unhappy? Still needed the forest, because they're not housed, I think is why they're unhappy. Or, yeah. Build a house, we need that anyway. Orders. Two tablets. I don't want to give away the tablets here. Uh, six harpy houses, which is a bunch of fabric. To get insects per minute. Plus biscuits and more harpies. Or we could do this for the harpy agreement. Let's take a look at... Um, you know what I didn't do? I didn't build the field kitchen. Which we still could do. Harpy houses, though. What I didn't do is I didn't turn this on. I can afford to build enough... I could do the reeds, too. I can afford to build and make enough stuff here to build plenty of harpy houses. So I think I should try that one out. Let's see what happens. We need four times... Six. Twenty-four. We can make... We need tw uh, twelve batches. We can make three and three. That's only six batches. With what we have now. We are collecting reeds. How much time is on that? Eight minutes. Let's try it. I'm going to be risky today. Risky business. Ten packs of provisions to get lizards and lizard happiness. We could do that. Eight beaver houses. I don't think I want to try this struggle because it's a lot of wood, a lot of planks. Um, I don't think I want to do it in the same time frame that I'm doing the harpy one. Uh, so I think I'll pass on this one, sadly. But because uh, the clay could be nice, we could make pottery like crazy. Uh, complete two empathy events to get three extra tablets. Tablets are real useful here in this biome because the effects you can get give you um, bonuses based on the number of tablets you have in storage. But I think that I should um, I think I should try not try to do that one either because you never know what you're going to get for empathy. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one. And let's see what we can come up with. Uh, yeah, stupid lizards. Don't be so cranky. I'll give you a job to do here in just a second, though. Uh, actually, go ahead and make that... Um, don't make that yet, though. Use either one of these. Maybe. Ugh. Actually, leave that on. What do we have here? Caladorn Cauldron, Leaky, uh, yeah, Leaky Cauldron, Caladorn Cauldron, Large Abandoned Cache, Large Encampment, Copper, Clearance Water Geyser, nice, we got two geysers already, two different geysers already, Eggs, Reeds, Roots, and Herbs. Luckily, we got the large herb gardens, so we are herb, herbalist camps, so we have, we can collect those large herbs, but we do not have a large gatherer to collect the, uh, large roots, or forager, rather. Let's call it together, because that's what it used to be called. Although this is an empathy event, of course, to fix this up. 
and then it will spawn a bunch of fertile soil nearby, which could be actually very useful. It would definitely replace these two before too long and even that, but we do not have the tools or the parts or the pipes or the vessels. This we could afford with the uh, coal. I guess I'm gonna have to do this. All food production is slower. That's a good time to do it. Let's throw two people at this. Uh, which isn't the best thing to do there, but I think I should just pull some woodcutters out. So we have some builders still. That also will make the lizards happier. It's not a bad idea. Let's put one of them back in though, so they can empty this out. Put them over here where they're not gonna collect anything. And we'll just do that collection. There we go. Uh, get started. Sorry. Get started. The herbs are right here, of course, because that's how my luck goes. Although I don't think they're right in the way of the path, at least. So more people over here. Um, which is what I'll probably do, although... I don't have the materials to do it at this point. Do a geyser pump there. Uh, I still need to do this payment. Go ahead and uh, do last minute on that. So we do have a few of them. I will probably set them up to build more at some point, but right now, right now. The other geyser that I had was over here. There it is. It was somewhere. Ooh, it was somewhere. Yeah, good job, Lolly. Okay, that'll do. Burn Caladorn down there. Uh, this will go here. Probably. That. I'm gonna wait a little bit on that, I think. And we need to get these harpy houses going. Let's do... this one. Not that one. Maybe that one. I could do that one. I think I'm going to do this one. Do one of these. Should I do that one too? I do this one. Let's do this one so we get a little bit with Timberhurst as well then. Sure. Just one of those though, just to get the trade route count. Because we need to get five trade routes in order for a trader to show up. Your board. Come over here and help with this then. Pull you out of this one. And, uh. Oh. Yeah, I just spent all my food, so I can't even do that now. But we'll get it later. It'll be fine. How's it going? Low on food. Yep. Luckily, we're picking some roots here. I could give you some help, maybe. Because food is slower, right? If you're not eating my food, it's slower. So having more workers on it is better. Yeah. That's where we're getting the clay from. There and here, actually. No, not here. Here? No. Here. No. Okay, never mind. Automaton. Oops. Automaton. I really wanted those farms here. Uh, we need that uh, small trapper's camp. You can get out of the way. Woodcutter's board. Why don't you come over? There's nothing for you to do over there. Next glade. This one, I think. So let's just go ahead and move you over here. Uh, control myself a little bit here, but we'll do a bit like this and then a bunch of that for the next year. We'll do a bunch of these, too. And then you're also bored, so you can come over here, too. Everybody's housed. We really get to get those har harpy houses built. See what we can build for that. Build two of them. I'm probably not going to pull this one off.
That's in the wrong spot. How's that going? Just about done. Some more food that way. There we go. This should have probably been herbs for a long time now. You can come up here and start picking some eggs, Mr. Lizard. Uh, you're in here, aren't you? Yeah. I'll switch you out there, and then uh, there. And I've signed out too many workers again. So let's uh, reduce these by a little bit more, I think. Although I don't necessarily want two of them in here anymore, but I think I will leave them for a little bit longer. You all, come over here, help me out a little bit with some organization. Uh, not like that, though. Just just like that. And get one more in here, and then I guess I could swap out some of these as well. Okay. Probably not. Definitely not. I'm probably gonna have to build some of these harpy houses elsewhere. I don't want to do, but I might have to do. You come down here and um, take care of that tree as well as the ones you have right here. Although I still don't have enough stuff to build them all. Um, so I might end up having to do one, two, three, four, five. Oh dear. Uh, I don't want to do that right now. Even though it would help the lizards, it wouldn't help me enough. And the harpies are even worse. Everybody's bad here. Um... I'm going to end up moving these houses around, or deleting them and rebuilding them. That's all six of them placed. Now, can we accomplish this? I don't know. Uh, we need to probably sacrifice. Alright, everybody but lizards are happy. Lizards will stay fine for a little while. Stay frosty. this, but please hurry. Got him. Get him down there. Get him built. Come on, come on, come on. I don't think we're going to make it. We're so close. There's no way to fast build, is there? Production speed. No. No way to fast build. Dang it. So close. Yet so far. If only I had another 20 seconds. Dang it. Alright, so what are we losing on that one again? Five bugs per minute, 30 biscuits. That's not so bad. I just wish that I wouldn't have had to have done that. Surprise child. Clay delivery line. Reeds and clay. I probably would take this one. But I'm going to leave that for some future thought. I'm going to take that loss. Dang it. Uh, we don't need this many harpy houses. So I'm going to delete this one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five is just the right number. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this in. 
And uh, let me know your thoughts. It's a really, yeah, fogged out picture. Let me know your thoughts on um, whether I should do uh, which one of these cornerstones I should do. Because, yeah, that's... Um, if this one would be interesting, but I don't know if I want to do that one or not. The clay deliver outline is interesting, and then this one is stuff, but I think I'd rather have that. And then we also have a building choice here. And I think the furnace is our best choice, given that we do have a bonus for pie production. Uh, it gives us double, double dose up on the copper bars, but that's okay. Um, tea and wine would help. The wine would help you. The tea would help you. And the, yeah, okay. Manufacturer, we decided no on earlier. And then we have tea, incense, and biscuits here. Uh, but we already have one star biscuits. Do we need two star biscuits? Probably the furnace. Let me know your thoughts on that as well. And we'll be back in the next episode to maybe do this. Uh, to maybe not get a few seconds away from uh, a timed order and see what else we can accomplish um, in the next episode. Let's uh, pull one of you out of here because we don't need two of them anymore. And we'll see what happens. So thank you all for joining me. And I will see you all next time. Bye for now.